thousands of people could be walking around with a defective gene that massively increases their risk of bowel and other cancers. Yet most of them don't even know. It's a genetic condition called Lynch syndrome. So this is my family tree. It's it a big gives it, family. It's a big family. I'm one of seven girls. Audrey Francis comes from a family with a huge number of cancers, particularly bowel cancer. Her mother died of it. Tests revealed that Lynch syndrome ran in the family and that Audrey had inherited the gene. That makes it very likely that she too will get bowel cancer. Here I am, this is my mum here. So the, the faulty gene has um, travelled down from my mum, it's been passed on from my mum. And, and my from her mum. From her mum. Mm. And her mother had and cancer. And her mum, well. her mum, and there are more up here yes. as well. How did you feel when you found out you had this gene in your family? Devastated, to say the least. I feel, I felt at the time, and I still do feel a bit of a walking time bomb. I remember saying to the doctor when all this first shot off, well, what have I done? I, I've never drank, I've never smoked. I haven't caused this. Well, yes, I haven't caused it because it's something you're born with. It was something that was handed down to me. It was um, passed down genetically and that is just something you have to live with. And your mum had cancer? Audrey was only tested for Lynch syndrome after she already had developed two cancers cancer of the endometrium and cancer of the ovaries. The hospital checked her for bowel cancer and she was clear of that, but they did find the gene that causes Lynch syndrome. They took blood samples. My mum had um, given blood samples. My mum died before they actually discovered the gene, but they were able to compare her bloods and my bloods and they found that um, we had this, what we now know as Lynch syndrome. It had been passed down through my mum and from her mum. Um, although it's not just confined to females, it is male as well, because my mum's brother and his two sons both had pancreatic and bowel cancer. And they died? And they died. My two cousins, um, male, they died in their 20s, very young. People with Lynch syndrome are facing a very high risk of cancer, but without genetic testing, there's no way of knowing who they are. There may be as many as 100,000 people in this country, but we only know about one in 10 of them and they're the only ones who get looked after. At genetic centres like this one in Newcastle, they're building a register of Lynch syndrome families and working on ways to protect them from cancer. Professor Sir John Byrne is a leading geneticist and an expert on Lynch syndrome. If we find someone who carries the gene, first of all, we get them onto a surveillance programme. The main cancer risk is in the bowel and in the womb in women. Uh, and we can check them on a regular basis and we have it set up so that people come in every year or two to have their bowel checked and to have a, a gynae check up in, in the clinic. And although they might still get a cancer, if it does happen, it'll happen, we'll catch it in, at an early stage and remove it. Let's take a look at this one. And is your mum in this picture? Which one's your mum? This is my mum. Mm -hmm. And After Audrey was diagnosed with the gene inherited from her mum, she was put on a yearly screening schedule. Already one colonoscopy has discovered a polyp, a possibly precancerous growth in her bowel. The polyp was removed. Because I know I'm Lynch syndrome, they screen me. Detection is the name of the game, so if you can detect these cancers in time, then you give yourself a fighting chance. Finding Lynch syndrome families is hard enough, but some people simply don't want to know. TV presenter Matthew Wright's family has been devastated by bowel cancer. His grandfather, his father and his uncles have all had the disease. Matthew became the only male in his family without bowel cancer. But despite that history, Matthew didn't want to be tested for Lynch syndrome. 
My memory is that you were reluctant to be screened, that it took us about three years to convince yeah. you. Yeah. It was a big deal in your life. It's a... Uh, I had... I was living my life expecting to get bowel cancer. So it wasn't like much of a life because when I looked to the future, my future involved getting bowel cancer, which in my immediate experience invariably involved an awful lot of pain followed by death. So um, it wasn't a great prospect looking ahead. And I suppose I was terrified, really. I was terrified of being told that I did have the gene and therefore would have a much more likelihood, uh, compared to normal people, of developing the cancer. Yes. Who's a good boy? Eh? Finally, Matthew did have the test and it proved negative. He hadn't inherited Lynch syndrome. What would you say to people who've got this in their families? Because some of them are in denial and want okay, to Okay, yeah, no, I, I can understand that. Um, I was, really. I mean, I, I was frightened. The reality is, and I've had plenty of time to reflect on this, not knowing means that you have no opportunity to understand where you are with your life. You live in the shadow of death. You don't face it and you're not free from it. You live in a, a dark grey area. No one wants to be in a dark grey area. It's, it's not worth it. By taking the test, things are brought into relief and you get an opportunity to know where you stand precisely. If you are free of the gene, it's fantastic, the sun is out and you can move forward. If you're not and you do have the gene, then you have an opportunity to really focus yourself. You get an opportunity to actually face up to it. <laughs> do you want to chase the cats? Whose wedding is this? This is my daughter's wedding. Um, here I am, mother of the bride, feeling very proud. Mm. And I'm so used to it. For Audrey, having Lynch syndrome could affect her whole family. She has two married children, a daughter and a son. Naturally, she worried about passing the gene on to them. I always said if they were brave enough to have the test and find out, then they had a fighting chance to know that they could do something about it if it was detected. My husband took them to have the test, a, a simple blood test, but he took them for the results of the test. I felt I couldn't go on that day to be there with them. And um, when they came home, they were both smiling. So you knew it was My okay. daughter came out first and she was clear. And then my son, came, he went in and then he came out and he was clear. Well, you'd think someone had given me the biggest present that ever could have been in the world because then I knew that I hadn't passed this gene on to either of them, which meant, therefore, they couldn't pass it on to their children either. Across the country, there are now 23 regional genetic centres where potential Lynch syndrome families can be investigated. If you've got a very strong family history of bowel cancer, particularly where you've got it in two generations and it started at least in one person under 50, then we want to meet you. Um, if you've got bowel cancer and cancer of the womb or endometrium in your family, we want to meet you and we means the genetics teams around the country. We've now got well-developed testing programs and we can do the genetic test on the affected people in those families and find out who is at risk and who is not. Uh, and this is a very powerful approach because if we can pick out the people who carry the gene in their 20s and 30s, we'll put them onto a regular screening program, a regular surveillance program, they'll get a bowel check every two years. Uh, and we know from studies in Finland and elsewhere that that will dramatically reduce their risk of dying of cancer. Matthew Wright, having been through it, is in no doubt that being Good. tested for the gene is the right thing to do, whatever the outcome. Had the result been that I had the gene, I would have continued going down that route. My life would have actually changed not at all, except I would know that I would have everybody on from the medical world on side, looking after me, keeping their eye out to ensure that there's no possibility that the cancer could start, take a hold without anybody knowing. So it gives you a head start. So even the worst result gives you a massive head start on doing nothing. Hey, should we go to the park? Hey, wiggy, wiggy, wiggy. 
So far, the main defence against Lynch syndrome has been screening. But Professor Byrne has had a breakthrough, a dramatic new way to reduce the risk of cancer for people with the defective gene. And the magic ingredient is aspirin. We recruited a thousand people all over the world with Lynch syndrome with hereditary bowel cancer and asked them to take two aspirin a day or two tablets that contain nothing that looked like the aspirin. And we gave them that aspirin for between two and four years. And as you know, Lynn, because you helped us with this, what we found in 2008, to our dismay, was that there was no difference in the number of cancers and polyps. But we've kept following that group through. And at five years out, uh, the difference starts to emerge. So people who were given aspirin for two years, three years later, their cancer risk drops by half. Which is amazing. It's staggering. And what's even more interesting is that these are people who are supposed to get cancer at a very high rate, but also very quickly. So it's almost as if the aspirin is killing the cells that were going to make a cancer at the very earliest stage of de their development. So with these hereditary cancers, suddenly you've got a breakthrough that can save It's a tremendous breakthrough because not only can we test for people now and pick them out of the crowd and offer them regular colonoscopy, and we know that protects them a lot from cancer. We also know from our study that many of those people still get cancer, albeit usually at an earlier stage. But if you combine the screening with a regular aspirin, we think we can half the cancer rate again. And even more exciting, it's not just bowel cancer, it's the other cancers like cancer of the womb that are also reduced. So it's, it's a, a very good news story for this high-risk group. If you suspect your family history of cancer needs investigating, then see your GP about being referred to a genetic centre. There's a new trial starting for Lynch families aged 18 to 60. And if you want to know more about that trial and whether you should take aspirin, take a look at our website.